Today we are going to demonstrate a very critical clinical sign that is Pulse's paradoxes. Now what is a paradox? Back in the day when it was discovered by Kusmol, it was found out that in the presence of heart sounds, the pulse was absent or either very feeble. Back in the day, it was thought that absence of pulse results in death. But it was found that some patients are alive even in the absence of pulse during inspiration and the heart sounds are present. So today we are, uh, in today's day, we consider it as a misnomer. It may be considered misnomer by some texts and some texts do not uh, consider it as a misnomer. How to demonstrate it clinically? We have asked my friend here to sit in this position for one minute and rapidly grow out through this straw for one minute as it mimics the conditions of COPD. Now, where is this pulses paradoxes present? It is present in cardiac tamponade, in acute exacerbations of COPD and severe asthma. So we have tried to create a simulation to demonstrate what is pulses paradox in my friend. We have taken his consent. Please lie down my friend. Now I inflate my cuff and palpate his radial pulse. I'll increase the pressure 20 mm Hg above the point where the radial pulse was obliterated. After which I'll auscultate him for hearing the Korokov sounds. Now I'll gradually decrease the pressure. As you can see on the screen, I have, I mean, decreasing my pressure very gradually. As the pressure goes down till 120, I hear the first Korokov sounds here. And you can see there is some pulsations seen in the needle here, which indicates that I am hearing the Korokov sounds, but they are less. As I decrease and cross the point at 110 mmHg, I see that Korokov sounds increase. The number of Korokov sound increases, which demonstrates that this is the clinical sign of pulses paradoxes. Now, what we demonstrated? We demonstrated that the first Korokov sound was heard at around 120 mmHg, but the sounds were very less. As we gradually decreased our uh, pressure, it increased going so we found that pulses paradoxes was of around 10 m 10 mmhg as the sounds rapidly increased at around 110 of mmhg now if we talk theoretically this is not the way how it is done theoretically it is showed that you should hold and ask the patient to exhale and inhale at a specific pressure point but uh, in talking about in real patient and real situations this is practically not feasible as uh, the patient is in uh, tachycardia and also he is a dyspneic patient so it is very difficult to demonstrate it so we have uh, taken many references where we have found out that this way can also be used to demonstrate pulses paradoxes thank you this was all about pulses paradoxes this was me and my team pulses Probus.